I'm Shara Tipkin, senior writer for CNET News for CBS. I'm here in Cupertino at Apple's headquarters. First up was the new iPad Air 2, which was thinner, lighter, and had all of the new spec updates that you'd expect. Better camera, all the various features. We also saw the iPad Mini 3 that also got the Touch ID sensor that allows you to unlock with just a touch or even go in and make payments. Apple also showed off new Macs. That includes an iMac with a Retina 5K display that the company describes as incredibly crisp and clear. We also saw a new Mac Mini that includes a new, new processors and a new design. Neither device has been updated for a couple years, so these were products that people were really hoping for. We also saw Yosemite, which is Apple's Mac operating system, and it talked up some features of iOS 8 and Apple Pay. Apple Pay will hit the market next week, and this is the product that allows you to go to a store and pay for items with using just your phone. The iPads were just mostly incremental updates, but they're really important for Apple as it tries to kind of stop the slide that's been going on in the tablet market. People are holding on to tablets for much longer than they hold on to their smartphones, and this is causing them to upgrade much less frequently. About 14% of iPads currently in use in the U.S. are still the first version of the tablet. Apple really needed new products that will get those people to not only upgrade, but also attract new buyers to the tablet market. It's likely to get some of the early iPad adopters to move to the new iPad Air 2, but it also is questionable how much this is really going to help the tablet market rebound. We may need to wait to see a bigger iPad Pro next year or some other more drastic changes for this to really change things for Apple and the tablet market in general. Even though tablet sales have been falling, Tim Cook told reporters after the event today that he still feels really bullish about sales. The company has a partnership with IBM, and they're counting on business users, schools, and emerging markets to really scoop up these devices. I'm Shara Tipkin, senior writer for CNET News and CBS here in Cupertino.